Hi guys, Angie here with Angie Makes, and today I'm just going to show you how to quickly add text to a background frame, any background image that you have, whether you're making invitations or wall art for your home. This is just a very simple way to do it. So I'm at pickmonkey.com and I'm going to come up to design blank canvas. You can choose your size. I'm going to go with a basic square. So here I am with a blank canvas and I'm going to come up here in the left to open and from my computer I'm just going to select a image and this image is for sale on my stock shop. It's a cute watercolor flower frame and this is going to serve as my background for the text that I'm going to overlay on top of it. So you can see how this would come in handy if you are wanting to create your own wall art with your own quote. This is just a fast easy way to do it. So I'm going to come over here to the text tool. It's just these double T's and you can add text which I just clicked that and it added it here and I'm gonna say it's a and I'm gonna the quote I'm gonna use is it's a wonderful life but I'm gonna start with just it's a and I'll show you why um, I'm going to actually I'm gonna go over here to yours so that it loads my fonts instead of just their default fonts and I'm going to use one of my own fonts called Duck Bite, and this is also for sale in my shop. And I'm actually going to use uh, the Sans Serif. It, there's several um, different fonts, Duck Bite Regular and Duck Bite Sans. So I'm going to use that, and I'm actually also going to change the color of it maybe to a dark purple. Okay, and I like that. And so the reason I kept the text separated is it just gives you a little bit more control. If you're using multiple fonts, you can drag them and... Um, some of the spacing options on PicMonkey are not the best, so I am just going to drag it there, and now I'm going to add more text by clicking that again, and I'm going to say Wonderful Life, and I'm going to come up here and grab the actual script font. I'm going to center that. Okay, I'm kind of liking the way that looks. Um, now I want to show you something. If I wanted to match the color, this one, this color to that Color. I'm going to come over here and grab this little number code. It's called a hex code. Oops, if I can copy it here. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste it. And oops, that didn't work for some reason. Let's try it again. Sometimes things can stick and don't get frustrated. It will hopefully pan out. Okay, for whatever reason, it's not. Oh. Probably because I need to select the text and then paste it. I'm obviously not a pro. I'm used to zooming around in Photoshop, but I'm trying to give those of you that don't have the option of Photoshop um, just an option here to use something that's free and online and easy to access. Um, Okay, not sure why that color is not changing. I guess we'll just do it manually here and see. There, it got a little bit darker. So, okay, I'm obviously not a pro. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna drag this down and you can also highlight here. If I wanted to make this larger, I could. And I'm gonna drag it down, kind of center it. And once I get to where I like it, and you know what's bothering me right here is this this life word. It's just to quote to the wonderful. So I'm going to actually, I bet you can predict what I'm going to do, um, because I'm a control freak. And this is actually um, something else you can do is if you right click this, it's going to give you some more options. Just right click that text. I'm going to duplicate this so I already have the color there. That's a better way to get the color to match right there. And then just put life. Now you see I can control the spacing a little bit better, the line spacing. So it's just one way to do it. Um, so anyways, you can play with this until you are totally content and you're ready to save. And there's so many things you can do. It's pretty cool. Um, now I'm going to just save it. So I come up here to save. And I think it's going to give you some options as to the resolution. And this is pretty large. All the files that you get on the stock shop are going to be print quality. So that sounds good. Pierce, I guess I'm going to save that to my computer as a JPEG, which is your standard. Um, oops, I need to name it something new. Just name it something random. And uh, save it to my desktop, or my downloads folder rather, and now you're ready to print it. You can print it from home, you can print it from Staples, or any other 
printing um, facility close to where you live. And there you have it, some easy to make wall art for your home. You can do this with invitations. The sky is the limit. You guys have fun.